What does a mushroom have to do with a recycling bin? Hmm, I mean, that's obviously a mushroom. But this recycling bin doesn't have mushroom at all. Oh boy. Ava, where are you going? I was just getting started with my mushroom material. Mushrooms don't have leaves and flowers like plants because they aren't plants at all. They're a tasty fungus. One mushroom is called a fungus, but a bunch of mushrooms is called a fungi. Well, I must be a bunch of mushrooms then, because I am a fun guy. Look, there's some mushrooms over there. This is what most of us picture when we think of a mushroom, but it's only part of the fungus. Which part? The fruit. The biggest part of the fungus actually grows underground. It is made up of tiny interwoven strings, like a big underground spider web. In order for an apple tree to make a new tree, it grows fruit, which holds the seeds for a new plant. In the same way, when some fungi want to make new fungi, they sometimes grow fruit, which holds spores. Spores are like the fungus version of seeds. Mushrooms, or fungi, are truly amazing and they come in all shapes and sizes. Funnels, bells, stars, whatever shape you can imagine. Even some of them glow in the dark, like this mushroom found in Southern Australia. One of the oldest organisms on planet Earth is fungi. In Southern Oregon, that is over nine kilometers wide, has been living for thousands of years. Just how big is that fungus? Well, first think of the CN Tower. Now think of 20 CN Towers laid end to end. That's how wide and long the roots of the fungus are. That's a humongous fungus. Mushrooms are super growers. Mushrooms can grow underground, on an old log, or in complete darkness. They don't need sunlight? Fungi don't have leaves like plants because they don't get their energy from the sun. Mushrooms get their food energy from the things they grow on, like this old log here at the farm. Fungi ooze out something called an enzyme onto the log, which breaks it down into tiny little bits. Then the fungus sucks up the parts it needs and leaves the rest. It works a lot like our stomachs. The mushroom turns the dead tree back into the dirt it grew in, so the next tree has something to grow in, like nature's recycling system. <laughs> You're right, Potato. That is the answer to our riddle. What does a mushroom have to do with a recycling bin? Mushrooms are one of the ways nature recycles, and recycling bins are what we use. Challenge time! We challenge you to make a spore print. The spores are made in these gills up underneath the mushroom cap. A single spore is too tiny to see without a microscope, but mushrooms make millions of spores which you can see with the spore print. First, start with a fresh mushroom. It can be any kind of mushroom, but portobello mushrooms are known to make good prints. Then, Take the stem off and put the cap down on a piece of paper. Put a couple of drops of water on top of the cap and cover it with a shallow dish. Then put it in a cool, dark place. We let this one sit for a couple of days. Now carefully lift your cap to reveal your spore print. The millions of spores fall straight down and make a pattern that looks just like the gills of the mushroom they fell from. And if for some reason you don't get a good print, try again. Every mushroom is different. And if you leave your spores in a safe place, you can grow fungus years from now. For lots of other fun and games and riddles, visit, visit clearwaterkids.org. Challenge yourself to connect to nature and build a healthier world for yourself, for the earth, and for a potato.